Hello, my fellow gamers, Gamer 64 here, and today we've got a brand new episode of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion for you guys. In the last episode, we got all the way up to room 400. In this video, we are going to get to room 600, and we're greeted with the teeth again. I'm not really sure what the deal with the teeth are, but I'm assuming it has to do with our current room level. But then again, I don't know. I think this is my last note, I'm going to die, having never found my escape. But we, really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Dude, you don't need to settle for this. You don't need... You don't have to die. <laughs> you can make it out, man. You can make it. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help this guy out. We're gonna make it. So... You guys recall from the last episode, it was honestly quite terrifying. We ran into the strange merchant uh, more than once. He actually killed us for the first time in this game. Oh, <laughs> that's trippy. But uh, he actually killed us for the first time in the game. Uh, first time we've ever died. So that's a little tragic, but it's all right. Uh, let's see what else. Did we run into? We ran into some kind of, like, spooky specter, or something like that. Um, yeah, we ran into some kind of creepy specter guy that jump-scared us, but did not kill us, luckily. And now we're just gonna make it through these rooms as fast as possible, and... Continue on from there. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't like this. Threshold of Consciousness. Oh, it's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Well, hello there. Yes. Okay. Cat. Is it a friendly cat? Oh. What the heck are these things? I'm not gonna touch them. What the heck is this? Uh, what are you? Am I supposed to touch you? Said I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave because that does not seem like a very safe. What are you doing, cat? Wait, what? We're wearing a mask. Put on your mask. Become part of your. What? Guys, what does she mean? We're wearing a mask? What is she talking about? What are you talking about, cat? Okay. Thanks, cat, I guess. We can't go in either of these rooms. I think they're locked or something. Hey, grandfather clock. Alright, what's in this room? Oh, cat. What the heck? What the heck is this? Balance? Well, at least we have someone to talk to. At least we have the cat. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Someone get murdered right here? Huh. Wait, can we see our own shadow? No, we can't. That's kind of weird. Why would she... This is like Zalgo right here. Oh. Okay, the music picked up, so I'm assuming something's chasing me now. Ugh. Oh, what the heck? Bro. Ah! What the heck? Yeah, the music's picking up and everything, so... I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but, you know. We're just gonna continue on. We're seeing some creepy imagery here. I don't even know what the X's on the walls are. Is that some type... Is that a symbol that's supposed to mean something? Yeah, is that symbol supposed to mean something? Ugh. You guys are creepy. 
Oh! Okay. Noted, we're dead. <laughs> um... Well... I didn't know that was gonna happen. I'll put in my name there for the top. Hey, we died on 4.15, just like 3.15. Alright, so let's get right back into it. Um, So apparently I have to move faster through those rooms and not get hit with the moving thing. Which I'm guessing is one of the entities in the computer, but you never know. It could just be... A random thing. Not really sure what that was supposed to be. The cat is very strange. I don't know what the cat was talking about. That we have a mask on or something like that. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Is that supposed to mean that we're like. Turning into one of the monsters maybe? Like is that what it's supposed to mean? And that we don't want to see our own shadow? It might. That's what I'm kind of interpreting it as. Okay, so the rooms have officially changed. They're different from the last time we went through these 15 rooms, so that's nice. <laughs> I really hope we don't run into anything. Is there a note? No, it's just a candle. Hey, if there's any notes, I'm going to read them. See, maybe talking to the cat activated that um, entity. Like the wall one that was moving towards us in the maze that killed us. Maybe that's... Oh, there's another computer. Alright, enter. Can I do that yet? Error, okay. Alright, so I'm going to access the specimen database again. Uh, just to show you guys the specimens. Uh, specimen 1 is the little jump scare dude. Uh, specimen 2, we've ran into him. That's the specter guy. Nope. Dang it. Uh, specimen 3 we have not run into yet, but it looks very terrifying. Uh, specimen 4 we have run into. Uh, she didn't kill us, so that's good. Specimen 5, I... We might have ran into him. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I think we did, actually. Oh, you can see his... You can see his entry now. Type active, total fatalities, 189, method, physical punctures. Okay, so that's when he was lowering the needle towards our eye. A wooden life-size puppet found floating in a reservoir where a town had once been. The specimen is active despite appearance and has proved very effective on subjects who disregard it or have vision impairments. So basically me, since I have crappy eyesight. <laughs> There's more specimens. Specimen set. That's the wall. That's the wall specimen. Type unknown. Total fatalities 93. Method unknown. Species specimen is constantly changing form and attributes depending on subject's personality. But most common form resembles a wall of moving anatomy symbols. Only effective on subjects with past trauma or a history of physiological issues. Whoa, that's freaky. Specimen 8, what are I don't want to run into him! Okay. Uh, type active, total fatalities, 149, method absorption. A floating figure that appeared in a test chamber a few years after it was filled with what was believed to just be unusually violent deer. Specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. I don't want to run into him. Oh, his pay Specimen was deemed too hard to contain and was killed and dismantled by GL Labs. Type exterminated. Total fatalities. 362. Holy crap. A small skull shaped mass of clay that seemed to gain more from more form as subjects were taken, 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 taken. Oh, that's messed up. I do not want to run into him. 
type active total fatalities 245 parasitic infections a form changing creature that is believed to be an extra central an extraterrestrial okay uh, though it was not officially proven, proved very effective on most subjects, but deemed too difficult to contain. The specimen broke out in its contain of its containment area due to frequent electoral malfunctions. That's fun. All right, specimen eleven. I don't like you. <laughs> uh, type active. Total fatalities three hundred and seventeen. Method unknown. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office. Once owned by a restaurant franchise. The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victim vanishes on contact with specimen but sometimes remains of the victims have been found. Inside the testing chamber days later. Proved not effective as victim souls do not retain remain after con- Oh... All right, guys, so we have a lot more things to watch out for now. This will be fun. <laughs> I don't want to run into any of these creatures or specimens. Because that sounds absolutely terrifying. It's locked. Great. Perfect. Just what I needed, a locked door. Chair over there, so we got to go this way. <laughs> Oh no. Screen's glitching. Screen's glitching. That's not good. Oh no. Is that supposed to signify like a vision impairment? See, I'm hearing things too. I don't like that. Guys, I don't like this. There's so many things that could potentially be hunting us and trying to kill us right now. There's freaking 12, 11 things that want to kill us right now. She say different things now? Oh, I have to go visit the cat each time again. Unless she says the same things, then I don't care. Okay. So she does say the same thing, so I can just move on. <laughs> All right, cat. Thank you. I'm going to move on. And I will see you later. Yeah, she already said that. Okay. So we already heard all the cat that all that the cat has to say. Oh, this might be the entity. We might be walking through it right now. Yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to hurry because I'm assuming that it is behind me at the moment and I don't want to die again. Are we actually advancing in rooms, or is this like one of those long, continuous rooms? Okay, we are advancing, so that's good. Yeah, just no exploring. Just get just get to the goal. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to do is get to the goal. I'm not going to try to explore right now. I can't afford that. I don't want to die. <laughs> not that way. All right, go this way. There we go. Yeah, I just don't want to get killed by this wall thing that's coming towards us. Once we get out of this red area, I'll start exploring more. Even though in the last episode it was deemed very unsafe, considering we got uh, jump scared. But, um, I do like to explore in this game to find new things. At least I would if nothing scared me. It always sucks trying to go one of these ways because I'm always scared that I'm gonna, like, go the wrong way. Don't worry, man. I'm going to get you out of here. Even if you're wearing a mask or not, I'm going to protect you from these creatures. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's getting weirder. Getting more... Oh, we're free. Alright, we must have escaped the thing, I hope. Uh, it chased us for about ten rooms and then gave up. Approximately ten rooms. That's good to know. What was a brain? And blood. Yep, I'm not liking this. I have a feeling we're about to run into something soon. Yeah, these things are, like, eerily similar to SCPs. Like, 
eerily similar. The creepy pastas, like very similar, like containment and their hazard levels and like them escaping and all that kind of stuff. Duh, you suck! It was an ice cream cone. <laughs> it was an ice cream cone that scared me. I genuinely got freaked out by that. Okay. Okay, there's a window. That's a new room. There's those arcade games again. Uh, there's no note on the table, so... Don't have to go over to the table. I just don't want anything to kill me. <laughs> Locked. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Oh, there's a note. Great. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. What? That's the note from the save room that we were in. Up. Upright. Up. Right. Up. Alright. Up. Right. Up. Left. There we go. Just one of those puzzle rooms. You gotta listen for the visual cue Or the audio cues. I already read up on the... On the specimens. Left. Up. Up. Alright. Left. Up. Up. Left. Up. Up. Left. There we go. Almost to room 450. Yeah. God, that had me locked in there for a second. I hate you! <laughs> I hate that little thing. Yeah, there's something behind me now, and I don't like it. I heard it. Oh, God! Okay, yep, yep, he's right there. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't know that he was going to come through the wall. Ow, I just smoked my knee on my desk again. <laughs> Literally second episode in the row that I've done that. Second episode in a row that I've done that. Why is Specter Boy coming after me? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we don't get a save room now. <laughs> Heck with you, little skeleton! That cute little hiya! <laughs> that was adorable, honestly. That didn't even scare me, that was adorable. But yeah, that specter dude made me smoke my knee on the desk again. Frickin'. Guy sucks. See, but I wonder if I die, will I be made to start at four er, 400 again? Hope not. But yeah, that was probably not the best idea to stand there and wait for whatever was trying to frickin' kill me. Probably not the best idea I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this way takes me to the exit. Normally, it's it's been the right way lately. So, yep, there we go. Four, er, four, 460. I don't know why I was trying to say 440. We're advancing at a pretty steady pace, though. We're gonna survive this, guys. We're gonna make it. We're not going to give up and just die to these creatures. Even though we might not have a choice at some point. Like, the game might just auto-kill us for no reason. Like, I never know. <laughs> That's why I'm scared. I don't want to start all the way back at room 400. That's what would suck. Because in the beginning, there was a save room every 50 rooms, but now there's not. It's every 200, I, or every 100, I think. So far, we have not found anything super creepy, besides the specimen, the new specimens that we learned about. Besides them, we haven't come across anything super creepy. I'd say the cat's a little weird. I'm sure she'll play a bigger role at some point. <laughs> 
Heck with you, little skeleton. Go away. You don't scare me. You don't scare me! I mean, you did and you caused me to bust my knee on my desk, but you know. Yep, uh, Spectre Boy's after us again. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, Spectre. I hate that guy. He sucks. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? How's your friends? We were learning about some of them. Yeah, I really hope I took the right way. Alright, I did. I will say, if I didn't, then I'm kind of cornered. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I don't know where he is. He kind of just disappeared on us. Come on, make it through. See, he puts down his goo everywhere, and it kind of gets you stuck. He sets traps! He's a smart specter. Smack the specter's a smart one. Can I jump? No, I can't. Let's just jump over those, but I guess I can't jump. That's alright. Gonna go this way, run through the goop. Yeah, I think the Spectre's pretty much left us alone. The music's kind of dying down. He's not making his... Kind of thing. So I think we're fine. Another room like this. Left. Up. Left. Up. Up. Alright. Left. Up. <laughs> up. Left. There we go. Left, up, up, left. Yep, I heard something when I looked at that. I... Thanks, game, for the Tetris piece map. Thank you. Appreciate it. The maps are not very helpful in this game. Oh, thanks again. It's just taunting me at this point. It's like, oh yeah, you're here. Or you could be anywhere, you know, whatever. What all those chairs are for? Alright, 498. We're almost to the new save room. Alright, there's the specimen tank thing with the brain. We've already explored that. Nothing we can do there. 499. Just a... Oh, it's not a long hallway. Long hallway with a curve! <laughs> I don't like you. Yeah, kind of. What? What do you mean the door's been fixed up? Alright, game saved. Out of order? How's a door out of order? Just a minute, guys. Oh, wait, just a second, guys. Um, I will be right back in just a second. Okay, guys, I was just... You guys saw that, right? I was just chilling in the safe room. My dad texted me. And I was texting my dad back, and the music started to play, and that skull thing killed me. You guys saw that, right? What the heck? Guys, that's supposed to be a safe room. Yeah, that that specimen killed me, the skull thing. What the heck? Wait, what? But yeah, I was just chilling in that room, and I was texting my dad, and I left it unpaused. And then, the thing just killed me. What in the heck? So that thing's not destroyed or dead or whatever they said it was. The game lied to me. That screw you. <laughs> you little jump scare slime dude. I really hope I caught that on video in time. I really hope I clicked the record button fast enough. I'm not sure if I did or not. Okay, this is like an endless hallway. Oh, nope. Never mind. 
Eventually, I'm expecting, like, an endless hallway or something like that. Right, there's fire, there's a ripped white canvas. This room's purple. It's, it's pretty. <laughs> Alright, let's just go through the first room. First room we see. First room we see. We're gonna go through it. See, maybe if you stand idle in a room for too long, maybe that's when that skull thing comes after you. Quite possibly, anyways. Cannot release twice. Exit through press. What? Oh. Express tunnel? Wait, exit through express. Did I just do something that I wasn't supposed to? <laughs> I mean, that door wasn't there when the note, when I picked up the note. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two. These monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Yeah, that's not good. That's really bad. Yeah, especially the one where it comes when you stand frickin' idle in a safe room. Which is a total bullcrap. Death. I think I just heard something, but, no, oh, God, he tried three separate times to kill me. Holy crap. All right, Spectre Boy's around again. Great. Great to see you, Spectre. <laughs> Here's the guy hanging in the picture. Okay, there's Bone. And the Spectre's still behind us. Okay, I was expecting that door to be locked. Okay, he's still after us. <laughs> yep, let's go. Let's go. I don't want to be killed. I don't want to be killed by you. Alright, 5.30. See, we haven't run into th anything too creepy yet, except for the, uh, the marionette kind of guy. The wooden doll guy. There's a skull, that's nice. People are like, I don't think watching a ghost horror movie can help you survive a ghost. I don't think that's a thing. I don't think it's easy to survive a ghost, is what I'm saying. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets his instructions somehow. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so the guy is kind of doing what he's supposed to. He's trying to keep sane by writing himself notes and, like, leaving himself, like, things along the way. He seems to be doing the right thing, but I don't... I don't know if our friend can survive this. I'm gonna help him as much as I can, but I don't know, guys. Like a cave with a cage in it. A little girl or something. In that painting. Is this a safe room? Oh, crap! Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. What now? For a while, I thought I had really escaped this place. But despite the trees and flora, I think this is actually just another room. I did... I did, however, find deer! Oh, God. So I might at least get to eat. They make some strange sounds. No. No. Oh god. No, 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 I don't like the deer. I do not like them at all. Where the frick is the door? Okay. Yeah, get off. 
Screw you, dear! Oh my god, what the heck, man? No! <laughs> I'm hit under half health. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Screw you, dear! Game over, I didn't die! I was fine! I had the axe, bro! Oh my god, the deer! The deer are everywhere! <laughs> Did you see those teeth? What the heck? Oh, my commentary is non-existent for this video. <sighs> the deer, man. It's always the deer. We're gonna run into that creature. See, but I don't know how the hitboxes work for this game, because I was axing that deer, and it still hit me. And I want to try to avoid them, but I can't. Like, when I try to run past them, there's not... You're not going to avoid them. That's the problem. Oh, hey, I didn't even see your jump scare. <laughs> Facing the wall. Yeah, if you guys recall, uh, I think it was Entity 10 was related to Deer. Alright, left. Up. Up. Left. There we go. Okay, apparently it's always left, up, up, left. For these rooms, I guess. I don't know. Okay, there's bone. And dead things. And a winding, winding corridor. Just gonna go through here. Alright. Up. Oh. oh, there's the, there's the express again. Let's escape through the express. Let's see, what room, it was like 550 or something along those lines, right? When, yeah, it was five. Fi oh, that's tight. That's a tight corridor. But uh, yeah, it was five fifty when we went into the wooded area. I'm gonna try and avoid that deer at the beginning, though, just so I don't take damage. I hear something. <laughs> I hear something. I just don't know what, and I don't want to know what. Like I've told you guys, I'm not trying to find all the monsters in this game. I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just trying to win. <laughs> I'm trying to survive. If I can avoid the monsters, I will. Ah! Make the little hiya! Give me the little karate skeleton. I like him. I like that guy. Thought that was gonna be a door, but it's a table. Oh, this is a new room. That's a Tetris block. <laughs> I see Tetris and everything today. Oh, this room's a little fuzzy. Weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through this door. I learned my... Suck. Say, I learned my lesson last time. I knew you were there! I knew it. I was prepared. I was prepared. Uh-oh. Take a wrong turn. <laughs> I think I might have. See, but what entity is that, though? Or what... What specimen is that? Not actually sure. See, last time we escaped this room, we moved backwards for a second. Maybe that's not... Oh, nope. Never mind. Alright. Yep, I knew he was there, though. I knew it. I remembered that room. I remembered, guys. Getting close to 550. My least favorite room of the game <laughs> so far. Nothing is this way. Well. 
Dude, the game doesn't really let you explore, and when you it, and when it does let you explore, you get jump scared. So <laughs> that's that's how this game works. You're not allowed to explore, but when you are, you get jump scared. <laughs> All right, five forty-three. I don't want to go back into room five fifty. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm honestly scared to go back into room fifty five fifty. Left. Oh. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Left. Up. Up. You suck! <laughs> Left. Left. Up. Left. There we go. At least there's always four pet... At least there's only four rooms that we gotta go through in that one section. That's good, at least. At least it doesn't last an eternity. <clears throat> 548. Isn't there a puzzle like that in uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? Where you've gotta, like, go through the corridors in a certain er or pattern? I don't like this place. I really don't like this place. <laughs> gonna go over here and avoid the deer. I'm just gonna avoid them. Because they suck. And they want to kill me. Those bone. I don't know what they are, but they're those are definitely not deer. I tried speaking, sneaking up on one the other day to kill for food, but it saw me as soon as I got close. I was barely able to get away from the thing. I managed to board up most of them. Hopefully I can find another way out of here. Wait, do I not get my axe anymore? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, cool. No. Don't see me. No, you don't see me. I'm gonna move along here. Move along here. I'm gonna avoid you guys. Much as frickin' possible. Gonna avoid y'all. I don't like you guys. Uh there's one right there. Gotta be kidding me. My character is scared of deer, guys. I mean, it makes sense, but come on. <laughs> I can definitely understand why. He picked up alright. We got a key for something. We're making progress here. I swear, if I die... We have music! Isn't that nice? Okay, I think something shut off our music. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, no! No, don't do this to me, game! Don't do this to me. That's genuinely terrifying. Oh my god. It's playing the classical music in the background while I'm chased for my freaking life. Oh dear god. That thing is so freaking creepy. I knew it was going to come out of there too. I was I was waiting. I was like, "All right. No, 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 no. It can manipulate your mind. I don't want to be manipulated today. I've already gone through that in my life. I've already been manipulated. I've already been made to do things that I can never take back." <laughs> Oh my god, it's still playing the music. I regret turning on that record player so much. So much regret in these moments. I would try to axe him, but honestly, he's probably some kind of specter. So I'm not going to try and even touch him, because I know that he will rip me to shreds. And he's probably an insta-kill, so... Okay, he's gone. He might be gone, actually. He might be gone. Might. Don't know for sure, though. 
Well, he was a gorgeous creature. Left. Left. Up. Left. Left. Up. Left. There we go. Alright, 584. Hope that we're gonna make it. No, you suck. <laughs> but little pumpkins, that's cute. Alright. Left. Left. Up. Left. What? Left. Left. Up. Right? What? Left. Left. Up. Up. There we go. Got it that time. Okay, I'm actually going to look up what specimen that is and read up on him again because I don't remember. Uh, he was like specimen 10, wasn't he? Wait, that changed. Guys. <sighs> Guys, the specimens changed. All right. Type docile, total fatality zero. Well, that's good. Uh, method unknown, a worm-like creature that inhabits the old rundown GL labs. A genetically modified eel that was supposed to be extremely violent, but instead was very passive. Though not effective, it was kept as a pet until the facility was abandoned due to specimen glitch out fest. Okay. That's good. He's not, he's not harmful. That little dude's not harmful. That's very good. There's our boy. There he is. Specimen. What specimen are you? I wasn't actually paying attention when I clicked the button. Filling figure that appeared in a test chamber a few days after it was filled with what was believed. Okay. So your specimen, what? Eight? Yeah, you are. Say, you killed me. Anyways, let's look at specimen 11. Okay, you're the devil guy. See, the specimen 10 changed, which is very strange. I wonder how the modify house layout works. I wonder if we can ever, like, get access to that. Yeah, I wonder if it's ever possible to get access to the edit room layout. Alright, I'm hearing music again. It's upbeat music, though, so that's a good sign, right? Hopefully it's a good sign. All right, 596. 597. Or 598, I guess. 599. And 6. Oh! Hey! We got a friend! <laughs> oh, there's no note either. Well, that's fun. Um, well, I forgot I had this axe, to be honest. But anyways, guys, there is episode three for you. There's a lot of trial and error in this episode, and the most terrifying deer I have ever seen in my entire life. But anyway, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this episode and you would like to see more, then please be sure to leave a giant like, and remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.